Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading energy check-in for the collective. Uh, so this is going to be for the end of um, uh, April, going into May. Uh, so we are going to take a look at what um, what your guys' over energies are, what's surrounding you guys, uh, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the end of April going into May, and then we'll take a look at what the possible outcome and advice are. Uh, so this could be in anything. This could be in love, romance, relationships, friendships, family, uh, career, finances, uh, personal development, spiritual development. So we'll just see what the cards have to say. Uh, before we get started, I want to thank you guys again for helping me get to 4,000 subscribers. Um, so currently I am looking through all the comments. Um, uh, so I could pick two winners for the one hour personal reading with me. Um, so make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and make sure that you guys have your notifications on. So wow, once I make the announcement on the community chat, you guys get the alerts. Um, and if you guys haven't um, entered the giveaway, you guys still could enter, um, yeah, uh, enter last minute. Yeah, just uh, make sure you hit the subscription button, the notification bell, giving this video a thumbs up or any of the videos that I posted a thumbs up and leaving a comment in the comments section below with the hashtag 4k. So like I said in the past, I would be doing this at increments of every 1,000 subscribers. So once I get to get close to 5,000, I will make an announcement for that. Um, and what else? Oh, and also I am currently not taking any personal readings. Um, if you guys try to book a reading with me, you notice that all the slots are closed out because I'm fully booked. Um, so once I, if I have any available slots that have opened up, I will definitely make an announcement uh, either uh, on my videos or on the community tab or both. So those of you that are interested in getting a personal reading with me, just keep your eyes and ears open in regards to that. And, and that's it. All right, so let's get started. All right, over energies for the collective. For the rest of, for the end of April, going into um, May. What does the collective need to know? What is surrounding the collective? What can the collective expect? For the rest, for the end of April, going into May. All right, we have the Three of Swords. We have a page of swords. We have justice, Libra energy. All right, we have the wheel of fortune. Someone's gonna go through some sort of karma here. So someone could have hurt you, you could have hurt someone and someone's gonna face their karma. Uh, five of pentacles and the three of wands. And then you have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck and the High Priestess. So, Collective, you could be going through this right now. I feel like someone might have dipped out on you by maybe sending you a message instead of telling you face to face. Now this could be, you know, it could be in, re in regards to a relationship that you were with with someone. It could be with a friend. It could be with a family member or a coworker or an acquaintance. Um, so just take it as it applies to your situation. But it seems like someone's facing their karma for dipping out on someone. I mean, right now, there is definitely this like independent sort of singles mode. You're okay by yourself. You don't need this other person. Um, let's see. Let's get some more 
passages here from the collective. Tell me what is going on with this Three of Swords here. Tell me about this Three of Swords. Three of Swords. Well, oh, Three of Swords and the Fool. Aries, Aquarius energy. Tell me about this Page of Swords. You got the Moon card. So a secret was revealed here. Yeah, I just feel like. But I see. I feel like someone gave this message to you in the worst way possible. Instead of telling this to your face. Or maybe a phone call. Yeah, I just felt like it came for, uh, came through via email or a message, uh, email. Did I say email already? Yeah, text message, email. All right, what's going on with the Justice card? You got the Ten of Cups with Justice. I'm getting a feeling that someone had it all with someone here. And now someone dipped out on someone and maybe someone's coming to a realization that they made a mistake here with the Justice card and the Wheel of Fortune. Someone's facing the karma for maybe hurting someone, for dipping out on someone. I'm feeling whoever this is, this individual is very childlike. Yeah, because you have the fool in two pages here. Typically, um, you know, the fool is really closely sort of sort of like a close relative for me, for a uh, close relative to like the page of wands. But I feel like, you know, the fool sort of houses all the pages. Um, so tell me about this uh, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. What's going on with this Three of Wands? Three of Swords. You got the Three of Swords again. Mm. You could have been dealing with a person or been a part of a relationship that was toxic and with a lot of addiction, uh, a lot of addic addiction surrounding this. Um, yeah, there was, there was just a lack of stability. Yeah, I'm just feeling like there's a lot of drinking here, a lot of drugs going on. I mean, it could be just one person doing it and another po person watching it on the side. It could be both of you. So just take it as it resonates. It seemed like it was a very, very toxic situation. And I feel like someone broke someone's heart by perhaps keeping a secret and then, and then you know, out of nowhere, this secret came through a text message. So it could be, you know, like I said, it could be with, you know, a partner, it could be with a family, it could be with a friend. But we have the Ten of Cups here, so I feel like there might have been some sort of partnership going on here, or that it could have this could have happened in a family, um, where maybe you know there was one member of the family that was like you know um, into drugs, then maybe someone kicked uh, you know someone kicked someone out, perhaps. You have the Fool here being clarified by the Three of Swords, the Page of Swords being clarified by the Moon. You have the Justice card being clarified by the uh, Ten of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune being clarified by the Page of Wands. And then we have the Five of Pentacles being clear. It seems like someone here like kicked someone out, but someone is like refusing or resisting that or like refusing to leave. Because I feel like someone here, even though they got kicked out, they're trying to come back. Yeah. So, um, 
So Collective, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the outcome and advice. And if there's anything that's regarding love that comes up, I, f I feel like it might be leaning that way. Um, but if there's a another energy that comes up, I will do uh, a separate spread for your person to close out the read just to see what their um, you know current feelings and intentions are towards you. All right, what is the possible outcome and advice here for the collector regarding your situation for the end of April going into May? What does the collective need to know? What can the collective expect? Three of Pentacles. You have the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles. You know what? I will do a separate spread for your person here. It seems like there is someone else. That was the King of Wands. Seven of Cups. Five of Cups. Seven of Wands again. Knight of Swords. It seems like maybe like a connection might be closing out. Yeah, it seems like someone's leaving out someone in the cold. You know, I feel like someone's regretting their behavior here. So collective, I really don't know where you fall in this, but we'll we'll get some more messages just to see what's going on. What's going on with the three of pentacles? Tell me about the three of pentacles. What's going on with the three of pentacles? Three of Pentacles and the Chariot. Cancer energy. What's going on with this King of Wands? King of Wands, Leo energy or Aries Sagittarius. You have the Three of Pentacles again. So I'm feeling like maybe someone here might be regretting their behavior and I feel like someone's trying to get some sort of help here. You know, the threes, especially the three of pentacles and like the three of cups sort of represents like the environment around you. So three of pentacles, more like, you know, a work environment sort of thing. But I feel like you're trying to get your tribe, you know, get people behind you to help out. You know, it could be family or, or co-workers or friends or something like that. Seven of cups, king of pentacles. What's going on with this five of cups? The Knight of Swords again. Yeah, I just feel like someone's regretting their behavior. Maybe like someone's in this energy of like, I should have thought about this before I behaved this way. Because I feel like someone got left out in the cold. I feel like someone's hurt. Someone's wanting to come back. thing is I really do feel like someone like messaged someone to tell them that they're done with them or something like that or like they're kicking them out or like you can't come home. Tell me about the seven of wands. Seven of wands, ace of cups. I feel like someone does love someone here but someone that was like blocking it out or pushing it away. 
feel like it might have been this king here, but I do feel like there's someone else, maybe. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune again. We have it two times here. Oh. I'm not sure if the card just fell out, the Two of Wands. Well, we have the Justice card on the bottom of the deck, so someone's facing their karma here for their behavior. Yeah, I don't know if this was like on the top of the deck or the, on the bottom, but I mean, as soon as, as soon as I turned over the deck, the Justice card was there, so I just have to take it like that. All right. We have the Three of Pentacles being clarified by the Chariot. We have the King of Wands being clarified by the Three of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Cups being clarified by the um, King of Pentacles. The Five of Cups being clarified by the Knight of Swords. Ace of Cups being clarified, clarifying the Seven of Wands. And then the Knight of Swords being clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. Someone's definitely, definitely, definitely facing their karma here. I mean, because you have the Justice and the Wheel of Fortune here two times, so. Tell me about the person that the Collective is dealing with here. What are their true feelings and intentions towards the Collective? What does the Collective need to know about this person for the end of April going into May? be a toxic karmic situation here too with the devil here. We got the Queen of Swords, so there is someone else. Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. The uh, Wheel of Fortune again. Three times here. There's karma written all over this. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups, the Star, Aquarius Energy. Might be dealing with an air sign here. Um, collective. So Collective, I don't know where you stand in this. You could be the Queen of Swords here or this King that has some problems here with substances and issues with behaving poorly. And then Strength, Leo Energy. All right, let's see what's going on here. So this person is going through some massive changes too. I feel like this individual has walked away from this king. I feel like this queen is trying to find happiness on their own because I'm getting this energy that this queen is better than this or, or just dealing with a situation like this. What's going on with this tower? Three of Pentacles. Tell me about the wheel. Two of Pentacles. So we have so many threes here. So I, I'm feeling like there is a third party, but the third party is definitely not romantic. I feel like the third party is that someone chose drugs over someone else. That's what I'm feeling here. Someone chose their family, no, chose drugs over their family. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, not a romantic um, th third party or anything like that. What's going on with this Eight of Cups? You have the star again. So we have the star here two times. I feel like someone here is tired of the uncertainty, um, tired of things not working out because it seems like someone here kept putting in the effort to help someone, but someone was not receptive of that. So someone's leaving to go off on their own to heal, to focus on their own happiness. You have the 10 of wands here. Yeah, I feel like someone put that put their happiness aside for a very long time. And I feel like someone 
is starting to feel burdened by that and felt burdened by this king here. So I feel like this person is just, this queen is just moving on. What's going on with the star? You have the two of cups. You know, I feel like this queen does really love this king, but at the same time, I feel like this queen is choosing herself or themselves, my bad. No genders in tarot, just energies, but, um, you know, tell me about the strength card. We have the Wheel of Fortune again. So I feel like also there was a lesson for this queen to learn too, because this queen is also facing their karma. I feel both people are facing their karma. I feel like there is this energy of this queen realizes that they can't save someone that doesn't want to be saved. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, so major karmic cycle. I feel like, you know, I, I'm surprised the world card is not out, but I feel like a major karmic cycle is coming to an end for the, or, uh, for someone here. And I feel like someone here, someone else, I feel like this king is in the thick of it right now. But I feel like for this queen, this queen has come to a realization here that they can't save someone that doesn't want to be saved. Yeah, I feel like this, I just really feel like this queen with this three of pentacles here that's popped out like three times. I feel like this queen has done everything that this person, uh, this queen has possibly could have done. Um, I feel like this queen is just really moving on from this. Um, because I feel like there was just so much uncertainty with this king here. And just maybe uncertainty with this queen because it just seemed like maybe that uh just being in a situation like this for the queen was just very stagnant there was like no change yeah i feel like this queen has walked away to focus on their healing uh, i feel like this queen has put their happiness aside here and i feel like this queen is going to focus more on their happiness here now um i do feel like this queen really does care about this king I feel like it was like maybe the universe brought these this queen and king together, uh, but at the same time, it just is not working because with the three of pentacles, you know, someone here is putting in the work, but someone else is really not cooperating. And I feel like someone here is trying to regain their uh, confidence here. So uh, I feel like both people are going through karma and I feel like the, this queen learned a lesson here. And I feel like this king is sort of in the thick of it. But I feel like this king is also learning something at the same time too. Um, so collective, this was your general reading energy check-in for the end of April going into May. If this resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.